It's just a bee. You don't need to be scared of bees. Come on, I'll show you. Okay. Today we're at a real honeybee farm. Let's go see. Okay. <laughs> to see the bees, we must wear a protective outfit. This will prevent getting stung by the bees. It's also important to wear protective gloves. Let's go meet some bees! Ooh, la, la. <laughs> Guys, check out these different beehives. They're all man-made. This is the most common hive. Now we're ready to open up a real beehive. Say bee! Bee! This is wood smoke, so we don't scare the bees when going in the hive. It also helps to calm and relax the bees. Them. Hi, guys. Wow. Oh, there. Uh, that is what they go. Worker bees. Guys, they work the bees. Here we have the worker bee, guys. They are the smallest and the most numerous of the bees. They have specialized structures on their legs called pollen baskets to allow them to transport the pollen back to the hive. They can fly up to six miles per hour and travel up to three miles from the hive in search for food. They will often change roles throughout their lifetime, starting as a nurse bee and then transitioning to forages as they mature. You see, oh, this one, look at over here. This one is hatching. See, she's, she's coming out, so we need to help her a little. Wow, look at me! She's just been born, Bonnie. Yes, when they do that, they will just chew the pupa on their oh. own. So it's her birthday. <laughs> I need to start cleaning. <laughs> yes. Get me my mouth. Yeah. Oh, she's right there. Wow, she's just been born. Yes. This is the queen bee. Wow! Here we have the queen bee. She is the largest bee in the hive, measuring about twice the size of a worker bee. There is only one queen bee in each hive. She can lay up to 2,000 eggs per day during the peak breeding season. She can live for two to five years. She mates only once in her lifetime. Look at these bees busy at work. Oh, so heavy. Oh, the on top. Here we have the drone bee. They are all male bees and typically larger than the worker bee, but smaller than the queen bee. They do not have stingers, so they are unable to defend the hive from predators. Their job is to mate with the queen bee. They live between 50 and 75 days. Unlike worker bees, drones do not have wax glands or pollen baskets. They mate in the air with the queen bee, and then they pass away immediately after. <laughs> Here comes a wasp. It's trying to attack the hive. Can you spot it, guys? Oh, they really like me. Bye. It's like very, you know. <laughs> the bees are making honey. <laughs> These are the bees that go in and out. That's right, Bonnie. Every hive has an entrance hole and an exit hole. There's that pesky wasp again. Go away! Stop coming towards me and trying to sting me. Go away, wasp! Now let's try some honey. Now we're going to try six different types of honey, all made by the bees. Let's try. Tastes like trees. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Mm, delicious. Mm. It's a strong base. Mm, strong. <laughs> 
is real bee wax. <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> now we're gonna make some candles using the bee wax. <laughs> First, let's choose a candle mold. <laughs> Granny chose this one. I chose this one. I chose the smallest. Ho, 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 ho. gonna smell of eucalyptus. My one is lemongrass. And mine is peppermint. This is now hot melted wax. Now it's time to add the melted wax. have gone in the fridge to set. Now we have to wait. Yeah! Granny's is a cupcake. Wow! Uh-oh. My candle burnt. Pick another one. Mm. I picked the bear. Yeah. <laughs> and a snail. Thanks, Hatta Honey, for having us. We'll see you next time. <laughs>